Hey everyone, Thrift Store Dave here. Uh, I have a day off, so today I'm going to my favorite neighborhood thrift store and I'm gonna focus on just t-shirts today. Something a little different, something new for me that I wanna get better at. So here we go, let's see what we find. Let's see what colors we have today, what discounts. It's green, blue, and yellow, half price. Sorted by colors. Where to begin? Just start here. Did well going through the white t-shirt section. So far found a Charlie Sheen winning shirt for only two bucks. Here's a rock tour t-shirt for the degenerates. Pretty cool icons, but $7. These go in better shape for 20. There's just not enough meat on the bone. Okay, let's add a little color to the search. Go red and yellow. Ha, just went to their show two days ago. This is possibly from their show 20 years ago and it's only $2. This is technically a shirt, but it's a jacket. This one, US Postal Service. Very hard to get stuff that's out of service, especially at this kind of price. I'm gonna make at least 30 bucks on this. All right, I have about as much as I can carry. Let's see what it all costs. I spent over an hour with tax. I'm in it for $73. Let's uh, see what I was able to grab. All right, so I am back. Uh, inside, ready to go through this bag of goodies with you. Um, I kind of broke my promise. I bought a couple things other than shirts, but uh, mostly shirts because, again, I'm trying to grow as a buyer reseller. And um, t-shirts and, and jackets, which I count as shirts today, um, I feel like are a category that I've really underutilized in my searches. Um, and so the more I can learn comps on things and... Um, and really, you know, gather more knowledge, the more I'll be able to grab things when I'm out in neighborhood garage sales and other, other unfamiliar thrifting places. So without further ado, um, I did pick up this interesting uh, windbreaker jacket. Uh, I was looking for vintage ones, but the ones I found were really roached and probably not resellable with enough meat on the bone. But this one was really unworn. I always check to make sure zippers work. Um, and uh, this is by a brand called Roots Canada. You can see, uh, not a super common American brand, but some of these are niche uh, brands that people do find uh, and look for. So again, a great shape. Uh, it was $15, but comps of these go for $30 plus. Dollars. So I figured I'd take a small chance on this, but I'm pretty confident I'm gonna make money on that. Um, I spent a fair amount of time in the white t-shirt section, uh, looking for deals, looking for some vintage, and I found a few goodies. Um, who can't forget Charlie Sheen? and his winning campaign, he kind of flamed out, but people still buy these. I don't know if it's because of the winning part or the vintage or a combination of factors, but it was only $2 and these are going for 15 plus dollars routinely. So um, this one I didn't see as many in the cops uh, on eBay. So I'm hoping it's a more rare variant, but I'll probably put it up for $20 or best offer and see if someone wants to grab it. Um, after that was a very timely piece. I was fortunate enough to have tickets to the Smashing Pumpkins Green Day concert in Wrigley Field in Chicago uh, earlier this week. And lo and behold, I found an American idiot shirt. Now, I don't believe this is 20 years old because uh, the album is now 20 years old, um, but they did a musical after that. I believe it dates to the time of the musical because it says presents American idiot. So. I'm gonna do a little bit of homework on that. The tag uh, doesn't help, it's faded completely, but the price, I couldn't beat, it was $2. And so um, whether this is an original album promotional shirt or it's for the play, I think it's probably a $30 shirt. So it was a no brainer to grab. Uh, if it fits, I might actually just wear it if the comps aren't good. So very pleased with that. This one was more of a local shirt um, as far as what people would appreciate. Uh, the W sign is um, always uh, a flag that's raised after the Cubs win a game in Wrigley Field. And so this is like a local promotional shirt to promote a radio station, WXRT. So all the W's fill in the blanks on the back of the shirt. I think I might try to sell this on Facebook Marketplace because I've got rabid Cub fans all around me who like these items and think they're cool. And again, for what I paid for it, no one at the store marking these up appreciate it. It was a $2 shirt. So I think this is probably a $20 to $30 shirt that again, if I can't sell, I'll end up just wearing myself. So was very pleased about that. One more white t-shirt, 
also $2, was uh, a very interesting shirt. It is about Tupac Shakur dying. Now, it's not a late 90s shirt. Um, it's got no tag, it's got one of the screen printed tags on it. So I wouldn't sell it as an original. However, I would still sell it for its content because it was only $2 and modern ones of these still go for a good buck. I think 20 or so dollars. So um, again, won't make a ton of money, but we'll make money on this. So I was happy that I was able to find it. And it looks like it's in unworn condition, just wrinkled from how I got it here. Um, all right, broke a couple rules as far as not all shirts today, but across the aisle from shirts for pants. I don't normally buy a lot of pants. I don't know much about denim. That's a future thing, concept for me to master. But whenever I see things that have their original tags, I take a look because someone somewhere wants the pair of pants that they had or the shirt that they had and will pay a little less than retail if the price here is right. And for $9, I got a pair of McGregor Classics golf pants. Now, these are old linen pants. They are unworn. New old stock is how you would market these on eBay. They have a little belt with them. And uh, and again, used versions of these pants go for $20. I paid nine. And um, unused, new with tags, I'm gonna put up for 40 bucks or best offer and see what I can get for them. So this could be a $30 profit. And I was very, um, I believe very wise to grab them even at their price. All right, a couple more things. Uh, you're wondering what this is next to me. I wasn't sure when I first saw it, but I saw a lot of padding on it. So I looked up the brand, Joe Rocket, and uh, for $13, I was a little intimidated at a thrift store, but I realized this is a flak jacket. This is like a motorcycle padded jacket. And even in used condition, these will go for $40. So I figure I'm gonna make 30 or more dollars on this because um, it's clean. Again, I checked all the zippers, they all work. And so I think somebody who wants one but isn't willing to pay full retail will grab this um, in an instant. So this one I would probably put up as a fixed price listing. Um, I'm curious being new about the listing of a lot of t-shirts. I've been listing everything as an auction at first, wondering if there's demand, but I'm wondering if anyone wants to comment uh, on my video, if you all think that um, some of these are better just put up for fixed price and maybe you move it faster, um, but you sacrifice a few extra bucks. So curious uh, what the debate might be on that. Um, by the way, thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. Please like the video if you find the content interesting and subscribe if you haven't. A couple more items left. Um, I uh, got a couple other vintage items, really cool Cardinals hat that's neon, and nylon for $5. But for how old it is, this is probably a $25, $30 hat. Um, got another hat that I made a short video of before this video was launched. Um, and it is an old McDonald's milkshake hat. Now this is the uh, the mint milkshake that they do every year that everyone loves. So it's just a dollar. So I had to grab that, if not for just nostalgia purposes. Uh, got some ties, what else is new? Uh, and I'm gonna end with one more um, shirt, but really jacket that I was able to find. Um, so lessons that I've learned include, um, you know, icons on t-shirts, obviously vintage is always valuable, but there are also certain utilitarian items that you should look to get because people either get them out of utility, like a motorcycle jacket, or they will use certain utility clothes for costume purposes. So this last piece I was able to get is a United States Postal Service mail carrier jacket. And see it's got the badge right here, United States Postal Service. And these are hard to come by. I don't know if they just have to get returned and this person quit and walked off with it. But when I was looking up comps for jackets, depending on the era, these can go for 40 plus dollars. And this one is in great shape. All the zippers are working. It's got runners, which makes it look cool. And they really underpriced it at just $5. So I think I'm gonna make over 30 bucks on that. So just that, and this alone, I'm um, break even on the lot. Flak jackets, another 40 bucks, 20 to $30 a piece for all these shirts. I just made hundreds of dollars in about an hour uh, in my free time on a day off. So I was very happy that I did it. And uh, now I just have to get to listing. And so uh, if any of you are curious about what these go for, you can stalk me on my eBay page, uh, which is LC208. 
Um, otherwise, you can watch a future video where I'll do follow-ups of items that I bought and what I sold them for. So um, it can kind of validate some of the things that I'm putting up here today. Um, also coming in the future will be a video I'm gonna make about stuff I bought that I was way wrong on. So uh, stay tuned on that too, so that way you can avoid those things when you go thrifting. All right, but again, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any friends that enjoy thrifting, share it with your friends too. I'm hoping to get this channel growing further. I'm getting close to 1500 subscribers. I'd like to hit that maybe before October 1st. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Thrift Store Dave.